Welcome to October 31st, 2017. It's Halloween and we're getting our first snow. <laughs> so we're here to talk about the Badger Mine outside of Cobalt, Ontario. This particular mine was found or discovered in 1908, ran in 1911. They sunk three shafts one only 30 feet, one to 70, and then the main shaft to 344 feet. At that depth, they ran out a drift 300 feet and stopped pretty close to the edge of their claim. Now, the interesting thing about the Badger is it's only about 500 meters uh, as the bird flies from the Tamiskaming mine. Tamiskaming was known for high-grade silver. Badger was cobalt. And what they were mining was a vein that was between 6 and 20 inches wide associated with quartz and calcite. So what was unusual about this site is it did have andesite, which is a magma or a lava that cooled rapidly. You can tell it's andesite because under magnification you can see the granules of the different minerals, usually feldspar and perhaps biotite or other things like that mixed into the rock. Here's something I found in the woods there. <laughs> Somebody shot it. It's discarded. I couldn't find any cave-ins so probably the uh, Whatever caved in, shaft or something like that, got fixed or uh, capped or something. And it's no longer a problem. And they just tossed the sign. I thought maybe you put an R here. Caver in, danger. <laughs> so we're here to talk about the rocks. When I metal. So we're here to talk about the rocks. When I met. So, we're here to talk about the rocks. When I metal detected there, I was hoping for silver and was a bit disappointed with the quality and the quantity of things that I found. Most of the pieces I got were like this size. There we go. However, in my search, I did find a piece of the vein there's a cobalt vein there. Another piece of vein material. With the andeside rock, if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and then one unusual piece, especially for the cobalt area. You can actually see a vein of quartz in there. Cobalt was really known to have calcite and dolomite. Quartz is somewhat rare. So, so what I intend to do is for each of these rocks, I'll take a slice off of it, uh, perhaps polish it if it looks all right, and we can see really what the rocks from the Badger Mine look like inside. So let's get to it.
So, actually what was funny is they said no doubt, you know in the old reports, they said no doubt that this mine, with, along with the cobalt, got some silver. And I'm thinking we might have a touch of silver in these rocks. It's attractive. Let's slice this one again. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna finish just slicing this. I like the association of the metal with the rock. Beautiful. Just kidding on the ah. <laughs> uh, I was thinking a Halloween joke. It'd be nice to have a, a finger fall off the saw. <laughs> okay, we got our rocks. I think I'm gonna leave these ones alone. They're very fragile. So let's polish up that slice from the last rock. And I'll polish up that one from the first one. See you in a minute. All right, there we go. Isn't that cool? Just a quick hand polish. And there's the other. So I did look it up. And they were thinking they were getting silver at... 134 ounces to the ton. For Cobalt, Ontario, that's not a great amount of silver. That's why they called this a Cobalt mine rather than a silver mine. But it sure had some interesting looking rocks. Oh, thanks for watching. Holy crap, there's the snow again. <laughs> Happy Halloween!